Hi, I'm Pastor Frank Levesque with The Word on That, talking to you today on the subject, Essential. You're essential. You're not essential. This business is essential, but this business is not essential. What you do there is essential, but what you do here is not essential. And these products are essential, but those products are not essential. Sounds very familiar in the day we live in, doesn't it? And yes, I guess if you're talking about merely surviving, some may make those distinctions. But the interconnections and dependencies between people, businesses, products have proven that many of the non-essentials are essential to our overall proper functioning. Looking at the overall bigger whole picture of man, who is to say what is essential other than the one that created us, the Lord God Almighty? The Bible says, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For Thou hast created all things, and for Thy pleasure they are and were created. See, we were created to worship, to be connected, to walk in fellowship, harmony, and communion with God, and to give Him pleasure. That is essential to our well-being. A man named Job, fighting for survival in the face of sickness and chronic pain, understood. He said, I have esteemed the words of His mouth more than my necessary food. During an extended time of testing and great need in the wilderness, the Lord Jesus Christ faced decisions as to what was essential for life. Though extremely hungry after fasting for 40 days, when tempted to turn stones into bread, Jesus said, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. It's essential for us to be connected, to commune, to hear from God, even more than satisfying our flesh. Another temptation Jesus faced during that time of testing and need was to throw himself down from a high place because surely, as the scripture said, as the devil told him, the Son of God would be held up and protected by his angels. But Jesus said it is written again, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. We cannot live by our ego or pride or try to get God to perform for us. No, it's essential that we deal with him on his terms. He is God. We are mere men. And the third temptation Jesus faced during that testing time was to get all the kingdoms and glory of this world. All he had to do was fall down and worship someone or something other than the one true God. Of course, in this case, it was the devil. But Jesus said, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. It is essential that we worship the Lord our God and only serve him instead of serving our souls or the other things that this world offers. It is essential that we worship the Lord our God and only serve him instead of selling our souls all that this world has to offer. Jesus said, For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. For whosoever shall lose his life for my sake in the Gospels, the same shall save it. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his soul? Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. You see, the most essential thing is to not lose our souls, but to give them to the Lord Jesus Christ for safekeeping now and until eternity. There are so many things in this life that cry out to us and say, you need me, I'm essential for your life. But many of them just sidetrack us from what is truly essential, and that's making sure we're in communion and in a right relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, and that we're ready for eternity. And a story that illustrates this well, Jesus had come to the house of two sisters, Martha and Mary. Mary sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word, but Martha was distracted with much serving, and she approached him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Therefore tell her to help me. And Jesus answered and said to her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled about many things, but one thing is needed, and Mary has chosen that good part which shall not be taken away from her. Mary, you see, was on the right track. Martha, she got distracted by so many things. You know, you know, and many people are distracted, worried, and troubled about many things in this life. But one is needed, or we should really say, one is really essential. If you sat at Jesus' feet today, he would say, repent of your sins, surrender to me, get baptized in my name, and be filled with my spirit, and then follow and get to know me and do my will. Please contact us so we can assist you in your essential spiritual journey and help you as far as making arrangements for baptism, praying with you for the Holy Ghost. And join us at Spirit Truth, United Pentecostal Church, 51 Everlasting Lane, Roanoke Graphics, North Carolina. For more information, see our website, spiritandtruthupc.com. God bless you and hope to see you soon.